Hi everyone, welcome to Pampered Chef with Mom and Shay. I am currently Shayless for the month of February. I have health coach Whitney in the kitchen with me again. She's gonna keep us on track with our recipes. I am so excited. We have Valentine's Day coming up, and so um, I think that's a perfect opportunity to make a really heartfelt meal. Um, so we're gonna make Parmesan meatloaf, because what's a, you know, meat. Like a, a steak or a meatloaf or, you know, how yummy. And then you can make it and have a romantic dinner at home for Valentine's Day, even if it's a romantic dinner for one. It's gonna be a romantic dinner. So we have all our ingredients prepped and ready to go here. Um, and we're just gonna kind of go through them. Let's see if I can get it set up. So we're gonna mix in the KitchenAid today because I have this thing about touching meat. It's really weird. I'm just telling Whitney about it. <laughs> I don't like to touch it. So we're gonna put it in the KitchenAid and we're gonna let the KitchenAid do all the mixing for us. So um, we're gonna start out, we have a pound of beef and a pound of turkey. So that's gonna go in. Yummo, yummo. <laughs> Good balance of proteins there. All right, so we're gonna take a break quick and Whitney is gonna try out the manual food processor. So the manual food processor is on sale this month. Okay, it's a good deal. Here we go. <laughs> It's super not complicated. Nope. Even I can handle this. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no crying involved. And there's no crying yes. because the onion is just in there. I quarter it so that it cuts a little faster. But you literally just keep pumping until it gets to the consistency you want. So once it's down to little tiny pieces, if that's what you're going for, like a diced, or if you're going for like bigger pieces, like a big chop. And it's gone, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a good dinner. Yummy. What do you I think? love onions. You want them smaller? What do you think? I think yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe a little bit. This is very nifty. <laughs> Add it to our list. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel like, I mean, it's great if you have kids at home that you don't want their fingers to get close to a knife. You can literally just quarter it for them and put it in there. Um, and they can do that. Um, if you have, you know, grandma or grandpa who does a lot of cooking and you just don't want them around sharp knives. You know, like anything, anything. I think it's as small as it's getting on some of them. Tell me to move it to the bottom. No, I think we should do that. Yeah, we'll do this. I'll see if I can. I'm gonna go like 10 times faster. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. You get your workout in while yeah. also cooking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good. Got it. <laughs> Hoorah. Then the blade on the inside just comes out. And then we're just going to grab a rubber scraper and in it goes. And it goes. Easy money. So Whitney, do you have any tips for all our friends for staying on track for February? Because now we're in it. We're in it. So by this time, you should probably see results, right? I would. If you're staying oh, on track. Yes. Yep. So this, that should keep you motivated, hopefully. I would say, um, you know, like goals, setting goals for yourself. And so I actually did this at work yesterday with my patients, but talking about SMART goals. And so um, it stands, you know, it's an acronym. So a, something specific that you can then measure out um, and then achievable, right? We don't want something that, yeah, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds in a week. It's not achievable, right? right? And right. so um, SMART, S, measurable, achievable, realistic is the next one. And so again, making sure it's within that good time frame of things. And then 
timely is for tea. Um, and so when you like say, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you want to be like, I want to exercise five days a week and eat vegetables seven days a week, you know? So you're being specific about things, um, but breaking down that overarching goal into specific steps so that you can then sure. work towards it. Um, yesterday we did, you know, three daily goals, three short-term goals. So short-term is one to three weeks and then long-term is, um, you know, a month on. So right. um, I would say that's the biggest thing I would recommend when it comes to, you know, your journey in that. What is your overarching? Shoot for the stars is what I say. What do you right. want? And right. then um, breaking it down from there. Sure. And then you can go, you know, long-term, break it down to your short term and then daily. Um, and so for me, you know, some of my daily goals is getting in my water, 64 to 100 ounces of water a day. That's so much water. <laughs> it's so much water. But then there's days I'm like, oh, I'm already at 100 and I'm halfway through the day. Okay. But um, then making sure you get, you know, like a Propel Zero or a Powerade Zero in with the electrolytes. Um, if you are sure. getting above 100 ounces, you don't want to go above 120. I know it sounds funny, but you could overdose on water. Yeah. I know it sounds really weird. But I have heard that before. Yeah, you can. And yeah, like drown yourself yeah. basically. Yep. Yeah, you could. Isn't that the crazy? nutrition that you're eating is just then washed out because you are flushed out because you had all that water. So okay, um, things like that. Good and, yeah, good tip right there. Yeah, but um, you know, food categories at least for you know my program that I'm on. There's right now I can't have like fruits because of you know the the sugars and the starches in that. Um, just because of the weight loss portion that I'm in on my program. Um, sure. But there's other plans on program that do have that included into theirs and so again program overall has many different plans and so everybody right. is different whatever what their, goals, their are. goals are mm -hmm. whatever um they're trying to we were actually talking um last time about me being diabetic and you know they have a diabetic plan so um whatever it is your goals are whatever your individual like health needs are um whitney can get you set up with a plan um they have recipes they have menus right so i mean it's it's kind of foolproof right it, yeah it really you just is. stick to the plan yep. stick to the plan and then whitney does the work like she gets it set up for you right yep. and so then you just have to follow the plan that again it is laid out and program is made to be easy like like you said foolproof like yeah that is just the reason that them. you know our our co-founder made it this way um and so it is that you don't have to overthink things because we don't want it to be a stressful right. um, process for you to work on your health goals and so again for me it's like grab five things i make one meal a day and out the door i go and i'm good for my day right mm -hmm. and so i'm not having to sit there and count my macros it's already figured out for me right um all in that see just so follow the plan yeah just follow the plan yes i think it's really important to um we were talking about this a little early like, this recipe takes like two minutes. We spend all the time talking. I hope you guys realize that. Um, the, the program that Whitney is on and that she is a health coach for um, is very focused on, you know, healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, making those lifestyle choices. So it's not a magic pill. It's not a magic drink that you take. That doesn't exist because somebody would have cornered the market on it and they would be cashing in big time if we could just take a pill and be thin. Um, but it does involve those lifestyle changes, and that's what this program is all about, making those lifestyle changes. Um, and, you know, it starts in the kitchen. It starts with what goes in your mouth. Correct. Yep. You know, you don't even have to really work out. Right. Most of what, you know, the weight that people carry around is, is from what goes in their mouth. So mm -hmm. if you can make that change in the kitchen and do it with some pampered chef items so that you feel pampered and bougie while you're cooking your healthy food... I mean, you got it made, right? Exactly. Got it made. All right. Well, since we spent all our time chatting, let's wrap up our recipe. So we got our, our protein in there. We got our onion in there. Um, what we got here for all our spices. So salt, pepper, uh, oregano, thyme, basil. All, all in. that. All in. Parmesan cheese. This goes on top. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna put the eggs in. Okay. Our garlic can go in too. Squeeze the guts out. 
good smelling stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you have it, if you do canned or jarred or whatever garlic and not fresh garlic, you are totally missing out. Fresh, the aroma is different. The taste is different. And it's so much easier with this little device. And you don't have a big cleanup to have to do. Yeah. The oh. nice little tool that comes with it. Yeah. So easy. All right. Our garlic. What else? We're good? The so parsley? Parsley go on top, I believe. At the okay. End, right? And the parm goes on top at the end? Uh, nope, it goes... I hope that we did a farm video. Just yep. kidding! <laughs> we got it. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. All right. So. So much easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should see me usually I have like rubber gloves on. It's like the maybe like a phobia or something I have, I don't know. So when this is done mixing, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our stoneware um, loaf pan. And all our stoneware this month um, is 60% off for hosts, up to two items, and all you have to have is a $200 party. So if you hate paying full price, and I hate paying full price for anything. Um, hosting a party this month is only $200. It's so easy. That's like four orders. Um, and you can get 60% off two pieces. Stoneware cooks a lot more evenly. Um, it doesn't overheat like a metal pan or a glass pan. So you're going to have an even, an even cook and it's an amazingly different flavor. I can't even explain it, but cooking with stoneware, um, since we started Pamper Chef has like changed the way I cook for real. All right. It's looking good, I think. Looks good. <laughs> There's my new phobia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can help you out with it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to wash my hands quick. Try not to make you a mess. Do you want a spatula? Yeah. We'll see how this goes. goes. Boom. It's just a little scrape. So Whitney was telling me, um, we were talking earlier that all of the recipes have the perfect ratio of like proteins and fats and, and greens, right? So all of the recipes are, are portioned out so that you get all the nutritional needs you want. That's really cool too. All right. And then you just top it with the sauce. So easy. No excuses for not cooking healthy. No excuses. It's so easy. And it says right? make it at 350, yep, for 45 okay. minutes to an hour. Well, we're not going to make you wait 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour, but I am going to um, include a picture when we're done. So it's going to look fantastic. It smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much. Any yeah. um, parting words for I was our just going to share. Um, so we were talking a little bit in our messaging, I guess, about like um, drinks to go with it. Or oh, whatever, sure. Yeah. Because some I'm people program. need a, a drink right on right. valentine's day yeah. yes um so you know there's mocktails that we talk about or we you know people can have alcohol that's fine we just talk about when you're in the weight loss phase it slows it down um because your liver has to process the alcohol first before it's processing the loss of the fat and so we have mocktails that we can come up with or whatever and so some that i was thinking about is like on program we can have you know these sparkling ices and so you know okay. mixing this with ice um putting some garnishes in it, you know, whether it's lime or depending on what flavor you have. I mean, I yeah. want to put a lime with everything that, or they have like these little, you know, 
bubbly or all the other sparkling waters. Okay. Um, so there's that or club soda. Um, I know one of our, I just love her video on our page, but <laughs> <laughs> she does club soda mixed with mint and lime. So you take the lime and the mint, you, you know, crush it and all okay. of that, put in some ice, throw some club soda in it. And then we have these flavor packets on our program. Um, and you mix in a little bit of that and you just keep putting it, you know, to, your flavor so she doesn't okay. put a whole packet in sure i use these as like flavor. my caffeine because there's caffeine in this um okay. throughout the day or whatever and so it's like great refreshing more so probably a summer spritzer but if you want something you know fun and bubbly or whatever oh, that's yeah. one of them but you're not getting all the calories and all the, the sugars and yeah. that too so that's one um otherwise yeah i mean there's many different like flavor packets that you can find but i would suggest you know looking for ones that zero calories or right. you know don't have the extra sweeteners and all of that in there yeah. so one mocktail idea but mocktails mocktails yeah, yeah. no one has to know what you're drinking i mean yeah you what you want but but you can even put it in a shaker if you want to totally have done that before yeah. <laughs> nobody knows that it's my lovely sparkling ice <laughs> <laughs> so those are okay. what i would say yeah enjoy and there's many desserts too that um can be made in a healthy healthy fashion so if you are interested in dessert ideas let me know and i can send you some awesome so if you want dessert you have to comment and then whitney is going to hook you up okay sounds good awesome thanks so much yes, for being in the kitchen with us i always look forward to our monthly recipes <laughs> they're so good and so healthy for you that's super important yeah thank you thank you all right thanks everybody bye